Hey guys, this is Kelly from Beginner Aquaponics. I'm just going to do a quick video today. Uh, I decided I'm going to remove my water tower. Um, it works for what I wanted, but um, with the recent loss of the two tomato plants here, uh, I decided to go ahead and make the switch to aquaponics. So I'm going to convert this 55 gallon drum to a fish tank today. And I'm going to bring you along for how I'm going to do that. Alright guys, so I got my drum down, or my water tower, and uh, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to cut the top off, and I kind of already started over here, make sure this was going to work well, see if there's a better way to do it, uh, but the best way I found is drill a pilot hole, um, I drilled two of them, just kind of wobbling them out, make them connect, and then I'm just using my jigsaw with a coarse blade on it, and uh, the best thing I found to do, get this in here, is, there we go, now you guys can see, is just put your guide right here on the side of the tank and follow it all the way around and uh, let the jigsaw do all the work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I'll be right back. All right guys, so uh, I got the top cut out. Uh, as you can see, uh, over here, I want to show you guys this. If you notice right here, it becomes Pretty close to an inch thick. A jigsaw has a hard time getting through that. The rest of this is close to a half inch. So I ended up having to use my drill and I really boogered that up, but I'll come back with the belt sander or something, kind of clean that up. But uh, let me show you what we're going to do next. This is going to be our fill. Actually, let's do it this way. This side is going to be inside the tank, and then this is going to be pushed up. I'm sorry be this way. This side is going to be in the tank. This is going to be pushed up against the outside or the inside towards the out and this is going to come down. Um, so explain this a little bit better. It's going to sit like this. And on this gasket, let me show you here real quick. Let me get this all apart. All right, on this gasket it's got a flared side and a flat side. And so what I plan on doing is taking it and putting the flat side against the tank. And then having the round side here so it seats better and it hopefully creates a better seal. We'll kind of have to play around with that, but uh, we'll see how it happens. So um, what I want to do is I'm just going to use a hole saw. Um, all the writing's gone off of it, so I don't know exactly what size it is. But um, I'll show you this. And the way I chose... I mean, drop that. The way I chose this is, I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's see. It's just a tiny bit bigger than the threads. Not much, but uh, it is a little bit. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to start with that. And if I always need to make it bigger, I can, but uh, it's harder to make a hole smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this closest to the top of the tank as I possibly can get. And then uh, I'll come back and finish, it, finish uh, the other side. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got my hole drilled, and uh, here's my gasket set up, the roundest size closest to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push this right through, and then what I'm going to do is, you can see there's just a little bit of thread there. I'm going to go ahead and thread this other coupling on, and um, I'll come back as soon as it's done and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so here's what it looks like finished. There's the gasket on there, and uh, there's the elbow. And I don't know if I'm going to leave this way, it might be nice to have it swirl a little bit, but um, we'll find out. And here's the inlet. I gave it about four good turns, so it's good and tight. Um, there wasn't much thread on there to begin with, so... Um, anyway, so, so there is where it is. And this one, as you can see, uh, is really close to the top. For the drain, I'm going to lower it a little bit, and uh, I'll probably come down probably double the height from here to here that I did over here on the other side. Um, this way, uh, my water doesn't come all the way to the top, and I actually might even come down low, I might come down to here. Um, this way my water doesn't come all the way up to the top, and the fish uh, don't jump out as easy as they could. So, um, we'll go ahead and drill that hole, and we'll do the same thing that we did on the other side, and we'll be back in just a moment. Alright guys, so I've got the last one installed. See, yeah, I got it on both sides. And I did come down a good distance. 
and you can see where that one is versus this one. It's got a pretty good distance. And uh, the other thing I did, and this is going to be very important, is we're going to stick this straight up. This way, it always breaks vacuum. We don't want this tank to ever drain completely, uh, because that will kill our fish. So the most important thing is to keep a water level as high as possible, and um, keep our fish happy. So, and the idea behind this is, I don't know if it's going to be too much, so we kind of keep this water circulating. Uh, we don't want any stagnant water in here, because fish do not like that. So, uh, next step is to go ahead and clean this tank out. And we're going to go ahead and lower this stand about half. And the idea is, is right here on this drain, is we're going to hook up our valve to it. And it's going to sit, walk over here real quick, is it's going to sit right back in this spot. But the hope is to have it exactly this height because we still have to hook up this pipe and um, the, the fill for this. Right now, I have it bypassed with just the hose. So, but um, anyway, so yeah, we have to get it to this height and have it bypass everything. So we'll go ahead and get that cut, and I'll bring you along for that. So give me just a few minutes, let me get set up, and I'll be right back. So we went ahead and measured from the top of the stand to the bottom and we had to determine that we needed 16 inches to keep our drain from our tank high enough to fit our grow bed. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I measure 16 inches, which is marked here and here, and I'm just going to grab my skill saw here and I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. So uh, go ahead and get this done we'll move around to the next side. Alright, so here's our stand. We got it cut apart. And uh, what I need to do now is I'm just going to add some cross braces right here to sturdy these legs up so they don't give it all. And uh, we'll go ahead and take one the other stand to do so. But, anyways, this is going to be ready for our tank. So let me get the legs put on here and uh, I'll show you what we do next. Alright, guys, the water tank to fish tank conversion is done. You can see here, it is working, it's running. You see, it's draining, maybe. There you go. So, uh, let me show you how I have this set up. So, this is my main line coming in. This is the one I had feeding the water tower. And I just went into this T, and uh, then I put this valve here, and I'll show you what that does here in a minute. But this one will control the flow to the fish tank. And then, I've got a little water leak there. Um, this line comes off the tee and goes down and we'll come back around over here. You can see we got decent water flow. This is everything coming out of the fish tank. And then we have a new pipe down here and this feeds this grill bed which is what that extra valve is for. So I can control it. See? Got water flowing out of it. It's not the world's fastest water flow, but uh, I would like it to be a little bit more, but I'm not going to complain. It's good enough for now. So, uh, as you can remember, if you watch some of my other videos, the water line used to come out here and just lay over in there. It doesn't do that anymore. So now, I've got my entire grill bed back. So, I'll be able to plant some more here, and I just picked up some more vegetables to put in here and uh, for the fall. But um, you can see here, I got a pretty decent water flow for um, the drain. But um, here you can see, that's as high as that water is going to get. It won't get any higher than that, it won't get any lower than that. But um, one thing I did not plan on doing was adding this little downspout. And the reason I put, put that in there was it puts out a lot of water. Let's see if I can't pull this off and show you. That destroying everything here. See there, it puts out a lot of water, and uh, the kind of idea I, this would be fine. It's not going to hurt anything, but um, I kind of I have a reducer on there a little bit. And what I was kind of hoping is to kind of stir the sediment at the bottom of the tank if that ever gets any. So I was kind of hoping to use some of this water pressure to uh, kind of push 
to stir up that sediment at the bottom of the tank so it never sits in there. I don't have to clean it so much. And hopefully the fish eat it or um, it goes out to the drain. So, but uh, anyways, that's my new system set up. Uh, I'll give you guys an update in three or four days and let you know how it's going. And uh, until then, happy gardening. And if you guys have any questions, like always, please leave uh, comments in below. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. You guys have a good day.